All right, guys, I got Fitz back here for yet another game here. And, well, so let's introduce our players. It's going to be game number two of the finals of the A, or again, the DC tournament run on October, January 30th, 2013, run by iCup and run by actually iCup Boxer, the guy from Turkey. This, uh, this admin is awesome for running this tournament. And it'll be your caster iCup Fitz, none other than him. Awesome, and in the top left hand corner, it will be the <laughs> the Terran in the 11 o'clock position. Teal Terran, it will be Gosum, Gosu M, or just Gosu, I can't even call him. And in the top right hand corner, as the purple Zerg, it will be members from the team. If I can open up this team page again, as I can forget this team. Team Red H, these people are boss. There we go. And um, so. I, I want to I wanna clarify a couple things from last cast. One, I do acknowledge that the intro music was way too loud last time. I, I apologize. Generally, it's half of that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still working on it. And also, at the end, I kind of gave the... I kind of mixed up the name, which is a Terran one, which is Gosum, which I can verify right here. Is, is Teal? Is Teal on the overlay? Which means it is him. So I just wanted to clarify that. Uh... As I tend to make a lot of mistakes, and um, yep, and that's about it. Now getting into this game, looks like we do have our uh, Red 8 uh, Zerg going in here, and going to be going for the 9 pool of speed once more. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't really work for him last game. And Ground Zero, again, it's an interesting choice to go a 9 pool because of the large scale of the map. But I mean, 9 pool speed is a very aggressive build, and it is fast when you get speed. So we'll see how it does end up for him. And we'll see how his macros um, to follow this up with. It, you know, I'm leading towards that maybe, maybe really members doesn't have a fundamental macro skill. Maybe he doesn't feel like he has that as uh, we, we kind of saw, you know, the 9 pool speed is kind of more of a cheesy build. And generally, uh, a cheesy player, uh, a player that doesn't necessarily like to play macro or just doesn't know macro games do tend to just favor into non-stop aggression to try to break down your opponent that way as you're just not really droning as much as you're just kind of sending wave after wave of units and that's not necessarily a bad player um i mean overall i mean might be a little bit weaker than a player that knows both but uh we'll see if he does that kind of style again um because what will happen is what you just saw from last game is that if if Gosu can just kind of defend, you know, after the first initial push, and he takes no economic damage, I mean, he already has the bunker already, so he's already well prepared for this push, and will probably get deflected if, uh, if nothing else, hopefully. Um, he did take some some damage, but if he takes like absolutely no damage from this, he could easily go for a counter push and probably just win the game like he did last game. But here he comes. Six initial links are coming in here. The bunker should be in range of both the depot and. The end of the middle line. Oh no, it's not. Unfortunately for him, for him, he will lose the bunker. I'm sorry, the supply depot. He may lose the marine as well. Still trying to, you know, bait the links in here. And it looks like they're just gonna, he's just gonna have to force to lose the depot. Surprisingly, he actually didn't lose the depot there. Well, well played. Well, well played by Gosu, not losing that depot and now these links are kind of forfeit for the time being but if you if you see right now no more links more drones so this might just be going into a follow two hatch lurker could be two hatch beetleist it could just go into a standard game but right now circus playing from behind and i think he's also and he's gonna be taking these links back just to see what, what he can do maybe just see if there's gonna be any kind of like you know factory tech going down here i'm looking on the map and no proxy factory right now these links are just trying to see what they can find, but the depot is currently positioned back here as well. Uh, these links really have nowhere to go at this point. And uh, it looks like it will be followed up with a three hatch uh, mutal play. It could be lurkers as well, but looking at the the mutals, mutals play at the end of last game, oh, but he will lose uh, a, the bunker, or the depot, excuse me, trying to go down right now. He may lose it again! What is he thinking? That fireman is so low on HP! Oh, he killed off the SCV and these links still being annoying, but uh, ultimately he's kind of... Well, did reset the, the uh, depot, which I guess is good. Um, but anyway, 
I uh, have followed up with the lair and going in with the hatchery. And I'm assuming it's going to be Spire play just because the Meatless, Meatless play was so powerful last game. And I think it would be a shame if he didn't actually utilize it this game. So, uh, and we'll see how that works. Uh, but good for good for Gosu to have the bunker already in position, though, if he wants to get like a, a group of Marines in there. And it looks like it, we will go into a macro game from here. Uh... Unless the Meatles, you know, of course, end the game, which of course that happens every game with me when I'm playing, when I'm Terran versus Zerg. When that rarely happens, when I have one in ten chance of that happening. Because I play random. And there goes on the Spire right now. And we'll see if Terran's even going to be aggressive this game. He's only been off of one, one barracks this time. If he throws down, like, you know, another barracks, then it might, might lead us to believe that he may be going for some kind of just one base... Uh, push play um, just to see what he can do as you know Zerk doesn't have a whole lot of front door nor does he I mean he only has six slings around the map so if he was to push it out right here which it looks like he will be nah he's just getting rid of the link I was getting ready to like announce he's pushing across the map but yeah he's getting up his he's getting up his count uh, his uh, barracks count and it looks like he's just gonna get his concept playing safe uh, he may want to start looking down to put down a... Oh, his turrets are going to be coming up, like, at the last minute possible. Uh, uh, three hatch meter will generally hit around seven minutes. Uh, maybe give it, maybe the meters will pop around 7.15 because of the nine pool of speed, so it may slow it down a little bit. So it's going to be a little tight for these turrets to get up, um, as I'm not really seeing any being thrown down at the moment. But he did just scan and did confirm that the spire has just finished, and we should see some turrets going up now. This guy's gonna be putting down a turret, I know it. No, nope, no, nope. we have turrets coming up. I know we will. I'm gonna call it. Nope, nope, I'm wrong. I know he just scanned. I know he just scanned. I know he just scanned. I know he's gonna put down some turrets. What kind of Terran doesn't put up turrets? Oh, who called it? Like 720. That's good enough. I was pretty close. Delays about 20 seconds for uh, Okay, now, literally, this is the last time, last moment of breath, or, like, I don't even know, the last, like, second of which he can put up his turrets. Like, this guy waited a very long time to get up his turrets. But, hey, he's gonna get up his turrets, and he's gonna be good. These meals are coming across the map now. Uh, he has eight of which, which are coming out right now. And it looks like they will be running into about four turrets when they enter the base right here, unless they go down to the natural where there's going to be a, a handful of marines right here. Does decide to... looks like he's going to be contemplating the idea of where he's going to want to engage. The Terran really has a nice, you know, surrounding um, turret right here. And he's even going to get a couple more turrets back here just to make sure he's safe. And the turret will just finish just in time. Meals are coming in here trying to get down that turret as it's not being repaired right now. But it doesn't matter, the Marines will stim and force the Meals away and will use a scan to get vision of the high ground so the Marines continue to start target firing the Meatless down. And Zerg is still just making Meatless, or so it appears. Yep. He's still just going to try to commit with Meatless right here, which is very interesting to me. Uh, just because he's already, he's already forced so many turrets out. I would have thought he may have just, you know, transitioned to late game, but here we go. Needles are going to be trying to come in here. Um, but the problem is this is a very open space for Marines to start stimming and engaging. Will the Muta Micro be good enough? Oh, and no. They missed kind of the, the, the parry on that one, the rally or whatever you want to call it. Ooh, and taking a lot of hits off, off, the, off the Marines right there, only having six Needles left over. See what he can kind of do with this. I wait for them to, you know, heal a couple, you know, a little bit more HP before they start going in again. As they took so much fire from the Marines, but if he makes more Beatles, aha, he's gonna make links now. You know, I like this play. If he's gonna be aggressive, at least don't make more Beatles as it's kind of forfeit now because there's so many turrets up right here, and he's even just lost, you know. His Six to one. Oh, no, he made, he made a whole other round of meatless. I mean, that's nine of them. So this could actually prove to be a threat if he could even start getting up his, uh, you know, shots off or parries. I forget what they call parries. Is, are they, is that every round that they throw it off? A parry? I know it's a wave worm, but... Or a wave worm? Guave worm? Whatever you want to call them. 
And yeah, he looks like he's just gonna go for like a massive Ling. Ling, uh. Ling Muta. Ling, Ling Muta play. Uh, I was gonna say he may go crazy there, but I feel like he would probably need three base for that. And he's already getting Lurker, so he's already going that mid game Lurker, uh, Lurker army anyway, so. Or the getting Lurkers and holding off till. So yeah, but uh, Terran is still doing a pretty good job, pretty nice job of defending himself right here. And we're still finding a stray turret right here. The heal just kind of find exploit an area right here, but just continuing to take a lot of fire out of those Marines. That's un uh, that's unnecessary. Trying to go away, and it looks like uh, taking killing up a couple more Marines right here. Just poking in, nothing bad. And it looks like he is just going to be going standard tank vessel Marine medic style right here. I'm um, still having grabbed his second guess. Finally just grabbing it. Surprising to me. And he's gonna have infantry armor. Armor on the way. It looks like Zerg's gonna be pushing across the map with Ling, Muta, and Lurkers gearing up for this maybe natural bust or this really strong push right here. He only has two tanks and is siege mode done. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but here comes the push from the swarm. Members are gonna have to get a really good engagement right here, and we'll uh, got to be able to stem back. It looks like he will be forcing the lurkers back, coming in a little bit more deeper right here. Two lurker swords surviving, but the lurkers do get target fired out and will die. He was trying to come here and uh, mute a bomb, or whatever you want to call it, to try to kill off the rest of of the Terran force right here. It looks like they, he will just do that, but at the cost of losing a ton of his mutalists. Lurkers are trying to get in the mineral line finally, but there's turrets all over the place for detection, and the vessel is out. And this should ultimately get cleaned up eventually. And he just did start off like he saw a ton of hydros being made um, to follow up. With. So uh, he's just going needless versus three turrets. Yeah, not how you're gonna want to engage that. So Terran is did lose his natural, and just now gonna be looking at the command center. Very, very entertaining game at this point. So Terran, oh, in a bit of a struggle right now. Nothing I don't think he can overcome by just waiting, you know, you know, 20 seconds to get an extra vessel for... Or he's just going to go now. Either way, I think he has enough forces to do it as long as he can just make sure that Lurkers don't do that to his army. But even that, it doesn't look like it will be sufficient enough. And the two Mutalists and four Linked will have to push back as he will be throwing down his command center once more. And remember... Despite the damage being done here, he, you know, Zerg is still off of, you know, two base. Like, it's not like, again, this is a very aggressive Zerg, and yeah. I just, you know, say what I have, uh, what I said at the beginning of the match. I feel like maybe uh, Members is more of a aggressive, overly aggressive Zerg that doesn't like to play this straight up macro game. I feel like he's really under pressure, but here we go again. Three more lurkers, no more beetles coming in here. But I don't think just three bare naked lurkers is going to be enough to kill the time. And he's just going to position himself widespread, and he's just going to sit there and kill them all. Or just wait for a radiation support, either way. And continuing up five racks and tank production. Very good job. Uh, with three more lurkers coming in the mineral line here, could do some catastrophic damage. Uh, he looks like he was trying to target fire the combat, maybe. Not sure what that's gonna do, but oh, the SCVs! Massive damage being dealt, and that is gonna hurt. Four kills, three kills, three kills. Those are ten kills, and those three lone lurkers, and I believe those were all SCVs. And finally, just gonna be in the radiate, irradiate right here. So right now, members having a bit of a difficult time. I mean, excuse, excuse me. Not have, I'm not mixing the players in. <laughs> Gosu is having a little bit of a difficult time right now. What I'd love to see is actually um, maybe take you know a handful of bio and just start doing a drop. I mean, imagine what they're, that would do, maybe. And he's only have a three hatch of production. But man, he's just, he's just being so overwhelmed. There's so many, so many lurking firing in here. There could be a lot of dead bio coming in. It looks like a lot of red blood on the ground, but that's a mixture of Lurker and Bio Blood. Lurker's trying to come up this ramp right here, but nice spread on the Bio. We'll have none of that, and 
But again, the lurkers will be the fuckers for some time. Oh, these lurkers, these medics are in some mucho trouble right now. A lot of lings, but I think, you know, 15 lings en route to the natural expansion. Natural of Terran right now. Continued production of 5 bio. And it just looks like he's just making pure M&M right now as he doesn't really have the economy to continue doing otherwise. Zerk is still happily mining off of two base and making a lot of scourge. So his gas is starting to get completed just into scourge right here. Very low economy game. Just look at the bottom right hand, you know, tab right there. My goodness. Yeah, it looks like uh, Aaron might be just maybe, maybe maybe pushing out. I don't know. Oh, the scourge! Gets one vessel. Is he going to be a little overzealous here and start pushing? He needs to repair his uh, his command center for sure. He's getting way too low on HP. Here comes the Ling Lurker. He, does he have a uh, hive tech? He's been off. He, this is a hive lizard right now. And there's a swarm is coming in here. Oh no, the tank! Up oh. and nice members getting out there at the nick of time. Skin of his teeth. Third base finally being established. Four hours there, but when the swarm comes in one more time, we'll see if this will do. Dude, if the tanks go down, it might be a little bit, it will be a little bit more difficult for Karen to continue pushing in right here. But look at that. Nice positioning of the tanks will allow them to continue living. <laughs> living, and he will even dematrix the lowered HP tank. Very good job. Again, nice saturation on his natural expansion right here. Turn even May want to take an expansion to follow up with. As he's going for it, he's being very aggressive, and this looks kind of slightly reminiscent of game one, guys. Is there a whole lot of left of Zerg? I'm not really seeing much. Oh, but look at this. Lurkers are in the back. He's going to try to... Oh, wait. But Terran gets sight of this. Lings are coming from the east. Trying to kill off the D-Matrix tank, but are they even going to get it? No. And now look at this. Three tanks out on the outside part of the natural. Exactly how this game went down in game one. Starting off with three tanks coming out of the natural expansion right now of the Zerg. And hopefully did did make the Zerg lose. Oh, it will lose a tank because of the Funky Colony. And he will just continue to start seizing up that base right there. And nothing more coming out of the base, main base of Terran right now. He's just going to slow push in the natural. Oh, and he's just gonna stim in here. Will he be able to do it? He's gonna try to target fire down. Maybe the lurker eggs. I hope so. As those lurkers could be the about to do. Oh, he's gonna get massive drone kills. A drone genocide happening over here, and it looks like this natural is under siege and probably will die momentarily. Marines will be target firing down the hatchery right now. What are the tanks gonna be doing? Tanks are continuing sieging the mineral line, killing off the very last drone, and this hatchery will go kablooey right now. And this game looks like it's going to be over soon, as I'm not really seeing a whole lot of help of that third base really serving much of an economic means for the Zerg at this time. That's how utterly butchered that sentence was. You get the point. Looks like this game has come to a close. Unless Zerg has... Oh, but will lose a tank, which will slow his progression of winning this game. Unless he decides to run up this ramp, which might be suicide with his bio. But he might be able to do it anyway, because he has so much bio coming in right here. And we'll kill up the guys. Still no follow-up expansion right now. <laughs> he decided to repair it by 200 HP. Oh, looks like he's going to be taking the bottom left-hand base right now. Did just scan this 3 o'clock. Uh, this, yeah, this 3 o'clock. And will it start? And I heard stimming. Oh, but here we go. The swarm's trying to come out again. Just try to clear out this army. But I don't think it's going to be enough. And these lurkers will get cleaned up with a very nice skin. Very nice positioning of the bio units. And he's going to be sending up a couple more bio units. And a tank. To help reinforce their buddies. Their Terran buddies. Their Terran brethren. We're seeing up this tank right over the natural cliff right here. And he's just got to stim in here and see that there are no lurkers right here. So it's safe to enter the main base right here. Still no hive tech for So there will be no dark swarm coming in right here. Lings are trying to be a little to do what they can do, but the Marines will just stim and just target fire the hatcheries. There's a GG by members. Congratulations for, for Gosem. 
for winning the I Cup January the, the January 30th DC rank I Cup tournament. Congratulations, you win your ladder points and very well played for defending against that all out aggression granted by members. And that was very entertaining series, guys. I Cup Fitz signing out. Have a great day, guys. Peace.